yo it's episode three time let's get after this so since last episode what i have done is i kind of explored a little bit i talked to some people in this village okay but i haven't done any of the actual story moments so up here we got family matters i gotta speak to gunner the blacksmith and that's like the next step so i, I went out i looked for things i got killed by an elk and now I'm back in camp because A, I need the blacksmith to sharpen my tools. And B, I need arrows and all that. So we're going to go ahead and play through some of these little missions here. And we're going we're gonna to tackle that story mission up there. All right. So this, this guy looks like a blacksmith, right? Let's talk to this dude. Wolf kids. Welcome. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Ooh. Thunderclap of Thor. Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck will have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Oh, so I gotta bring metal when I need stuff done. Enhanced gear. Bringing ignots to settlements forge will allow gunner to enhance armor and weapons doing so will unlock ruin slots increase the pieces of upgrade limit and may improve its appearance okay so let's do that boom now we're level one increase speed after each hit up to 10 times nice very nice Okay, all right. That should do it. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. All right, return any time. The clan is happy to see me back. All right, so now we got this mission, which is 70, uh, 56 meters away. We're going to go talk to this dude. I think this is the guy that's pissed off at us. I think this dude is angry. Oh, this isn't a dude. It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. Let's call for the horse. There you are, horsey. All right, let's go. We gone. So I guess this is the woman that's supposed to help me deal with my depression. Oh, look, a hut. That's more than just a damn hut. That looks like a castle. Jesus. Whoa. Valka's hut. I don't know why I'm crouched. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Hamuram. Hamuram. Valka? Yes. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice on a private matter. Come. 
Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let us speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. Yeah. It may have been my battle lost, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threats that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. Oh! It may confuse or disorient. So she's making a scissor. But you must take okay. Note of all you see. Drink. Bottoms up. If you seek true understanding. Oh, and we're out. We're out. It's so bright. Here he is. All right. There he is. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Javi! Javi! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? This is my dreamland. Why am I following the wolf that bit me in the neck? That doesn't make a bit of sense to me. Brother! Why would I skip this? What is this? There was no other way, Javi. Our fates are fixed. Sigurd! He cut off his damn arm. Sigurd! What has... What has happened? This was not for you, Javi. Ah! 
Oh shit. Okay. That's not something I want to go back to Dreamland for. Y'all could keep me all the way out of the Freddy Kruegerville. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. And the wolf was eager for my attention. As if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the Wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life. Your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you Valhalla. are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. And then a gigantic freaking did you wolf was there. The summit of this mountain. I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Nope, I won't. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. I don't like this chick. A seer's solace. Yeah, okay. There we have it. All right, a vision from the past. Right on, right on, right on. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for episode three. Uh, I'm kind of guessing there's going to be about 40 episodes of this. So get ready for a lot of content. Um, we're doing a lot of little short 20 minute blocks. So we're going to continue to, uh, you know, do this and that. So, guys, I appreciate you checking out the channel. It's been fun. All right. I am getting ready to go live over on Twitch right now. Um, so if you don't know where my Twitch channel is, the link is in the description below. We're also putting out clips on TikTok daily, uh, MLB, the show clips, Assassin's Creed clips, soon to be Spider-Man clips, PS5 clips. So guys, I appreciate you coming out, checking out this video until next time. Peace. Hello there. I was turned that way just so you could see the logo on my hat. It's Clue 27 here, and I'm coming at you with episode 4 of the Assassin's Creed Valhalla playthrough. Um, so basically what we've been doing is we've just been going around, like just, just checking the map out, unlocking locations, doing the synchronizing, stuff like that. We're about to jump right in, though, to episode 4. Where I got to meet the dude that's pissed off and then yada yada. We'll see what happens from there. But I just wanted to hit this little full cam intro because we're working on a few things. And we're trying to get better at this whole YouTube game.
the world right here's where i'm sitting at right now i'm way off the beaten path now you didn't miss anything in my previous video episode three we uh all all we did was we went to this cabin and we talked to some chick and we had a dreamland type of situation it was pretty a low-key episode so now we're gonna fast travel back here but what i've been doing off of here is i've just kind of been going around i've been synchronizing things to kind of help with fast travel because this is a big game and we're gonna run out of time you know or we're not gonna run out of time we're just gonna have several several episodes so that's basically what i'm doing at the moment so we're gonna fast travel over here honestly i feel like a big six foot five 280 pound clunky viking all right but here let's go continue this storyline and move it along, huh? They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Should be safe to enter. I'm ready I'll to see face him now. The thunder. I will speak with the king now. Ooh, all right. Here we go. Excellent, King Stubior. This king's going to be pissed off at me. I will take proposal me. to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... He's pissed. May the winds favor your voyage, Gethard. He's pissed. Oh, damn. Why are you pissed? Eivor, come forward. And explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by it's spelled e warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances, waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed? Kyoto and his clan will never negotiate with us. They speak the language of war, so we must answer back. I have waited a lifetime to take back the honor that Chotwe took from my family. Now is the time to act. My so time to act. Vengeance that you cannot see beyond your nose. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varian. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go. Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained until it's wiped clean. I want nothing else. refuse to pick at that wound again but if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts Sigurd has come down at the docks his ship is here oh my brother's ship is here let's go all right now we're rocking now we are rocking here we go Ignit, I mean hey, Sigurd. Careful with that one. My brother that I'm supposed hey, to. Lord. Sigurd. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worried without me? Oh, and you, salt cured my king. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. <laughs> Just to start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagart, and they show me her buried secrets. 
We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. I don't trust these two. We like to hear. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and so he's been gone for two years. We will talk of Kyotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. Through Rusland, we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. I don't understand we a thing he's saying. Low. Then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! Skull! You, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornberg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm. We shall see. Eivor! Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is... not something I can speak on. Or wish to. Or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, but your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? When he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Ah, uh, we should all be so lucky. <laughs> okay, so she she wants to she wants to do me. Here we go. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. Oh, do we got a drink? My first night in Fornberg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to? I shout at trolls every enemies. night, live on Twitch. Yes. Check you it out. Link in the description. Me, now drink. Ah, <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. 
gods. You should have let me start. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. All right, let's figure out what we're this up to. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea, a brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you, a weapon for the finest warrior I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give me my yak. Yak him. I like it. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. All right. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom A kingdom? Us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest and return here at first light. First light. I will not. Shit. Kyotvis warriors. Oh, well, here you go. We got skill points. But uh, it's killing time, baby. Okay. I have a bad feeling. Just the three of us. We should return to not fall with our report while we can. We can bring Kyotve news of the longships. Or we can wake him with Sigurd Stirbjörnsson's head. Which is better? All right. When Yot returns, we weigh our next move. But I am not one for sticking around, hear me? Quit bawling, you babe. They may be drunk, but they're not deaf. Got him. All right, we could whistle. Sigurd must know about this. I speak as your king, Sigurd, not your father. He's trying to fucking run shit, and he's about to fuck with we shit. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. 
The losses would ruin us. The losses have ruined us, father. Until we cut off this serpent's head, it will poison us day by day, drop by drop. The poison has already polluted our waters. Gods, Eivor, what happened? Spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kyotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Notfall, that whaling village under Kyotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kyotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send hide them to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you. But this will be far from my first battle. Yeah! I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Okay, so Sigurd's trying to run shit. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Okay. All right. Well, here we are. Guys, that's going to wrap up episode four. We got a little bit more action. I'm combining episode three and four into the same video. We are going to cut and splice and put this together. Um... So we can get some more videos out. All right. So stay tuned to the YouTube. All right. And uh, for uh, for more content live and otherwise, make sure you check out the links in the description. We are really trying to blow this thing up. Appreciate you guys checking out this video. Hit the like, subscribe, and I will see you guys later.